What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It is the fly young gentleman here. You know, I need to change that intro. Too much gentleman. But uh, <laughs> pretty much. Today, I'm, I'm bringing you, I know, I know, Last of Us Lovers, there's not many of you, but there is some of you. Uh, I will be bringing those videos soon. I just, while the crew's out, I want to be playing it, enjoying it, and bringing you guys the gameplay for it. You're going to see a few missions here. And uh, I just wanted to go on a little bit of a rant of big game companies and and what I, what I love about them and what I hate about them. So, let's hope I don't go on too many rants today, but... The, the main thing I, I really wanted to touch down on is uh, it, it kind of was going back to microtransactions. Uh, and when I was playing the crew today, uh, it just kept reminding me every time I went to go to like the tuner shop or whatever. It, and I saw the crew cash. It's actually crew cash. And I was like, man, you know, uh, this looks like it's a microtransaction item. And um, even though there's a possibility you might get it for something else immediately that's what i thought and and that's the problem if I, I can almost guarantee you that that is why it's there but my main problem is that it should not be the first thing i'm thinking it should not be the first thing that comes to my head when i'm playing a game is not you know oh i wonder if there's any ways that you know someone can pay to have better shit than me the first thing i should be thinking about is the game itself it shouldn't be about any of that garbage and it just really, it, it bothers me. And, and the things big game companies know that we're going to buy. Big game companies know they can fuck us as much as they want. Because as passionate as the game community is, for some reason, we have, we, we are very, I love the gaming community for a lot of reasons. You know, that we, uh, we really just are passionate. And when we don't like something, we will make it change. But the thing I don't see is that people are complaining all the time about microtransactions, yet they buy into them. I even do it. And it's a problem. Like, there's just so many things that we need to change about the microtransactions. It's not necessarily just like, you know, the buy the camo for this much or whatever. It's more of like the, even DLC has become a microtraction at this point. And yeah, I know, microtraxons are DLC. I'm talking about big expansion packs. Remember when they used to be called that? Map packs used to be called expansion packs and they would add story and it was a big deal to buy one of those. It'd be it'd be a lot. And they wouldn't come out like, you know, a day after the game comes out. And that's my problem. You know, Battlefield 4, wonderful game, really fucked up in a lot of ways, but I love it. I mean, that game had DLC. What was it? Guy I mean guys, correct me please in the comment section. I really want to know. I think it was about a month after the game came out, they were already dropping DLC for it. And it's like, well, you already had shit done then? Why didn't you just put it in the final build of the game? Why didn't you bring our DLC, you know, actually fresh shit that you didn't already have done? You know, what if, if the game is going to come out and you, you might be saying, you know, maybe they didn't have the time to put it in, maybe there was too much. Yeah, no, no, no. 99% of the time, they have the time to put it in. They have the time and the resources to put in all that extra shit, they just know that they can squeeze a few extra bucks out of every gamer. And when you're talking about a million plus gamers, that's a lot of money. I mean, that's a lot of money, right? I mean, what's Battlefield Premium? Yeah, this year I spent, what, about $240 on Battlefield? Uh, actually, no, $300 because I bought it just without Premium Battlefield 4 for PS4 as well, but I didn't play it. But <clears throat> I have Battlefield and Premium for Xbox One, Battlefield and Premium for PC, and then I had Battlefield for uh, PS4, but I got rid of it. So yeah, pretty much a shit ton of money I've spent on it. And, uh, you know, that's not necessarily their fault, but the thing I'm saying is that Premium is 50 bucks. Okay. What do you get? Four expansion packs for Battlefield, including weapons, vehicles, and maps. Premium is wonderful. All the extra content you get I love it, but I really feel like they should be doing a little bit more for that $50 because I'm almost buying Battlefield again. I mean, I'm, I'm 10 bucks short of buying Battlefield. So there's a lot of games that surprise you. It's not the only one. I mean, Call of Duty and all that shit. If you're going to be making me pay for another game, why don't you just take your fucking bloody time? And you know what? While you're taking your time on the DLC, make sure you're not adding half-assed shit 
that you're only doing don't 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 throw in shit that was already on the disc you know don't i mean in in a way you know it, that's something that a lot of companies do but for gaming i feel it's wrong because you're promising all these things and then you're not shipping the game with it and you're making us buy it later that's not correct you shouldn't be telling us we're going to get something when we purchase the game if we're not actually going to get it so that's one of my problems right and that in dlc i could make a whole fucking video on it and I just feel like it just, they need to stop with this. They really do. Honestly, guys, I, I, they, we need to do something about it. They need to stop getting that extra 15 to $50 to 100 bucks, whatever it may be. You know, I don't have a problem with collector's editions and shit because that's paying for extra shit you don't need. It doesn't affect your in-game, you know, uh, competitive balance or anything. It's usually just like a statue or something. I'm a big fan of collector's editions. I hope they make them for a bunch of games. I always buy them up. But I don't like that this whole DLC thing where now literally everything is DLC. You buy the game and it's like a bare bones SDK kit for God's sake. And then <laughs> and then all the mods for that SDK kit are something you're paying as premium DLC or whatever the fuck they label it as. And that's not cool because you know what? Just a lot of people have money to throw around and a lot of people don't have money to throw around. So really, you need, to, you, you need to stop chipping the fuck out of gamers. That's why I recently became really, really, really big into indie games. Uh, that's why I love PC gaming. I mean, there's so many games that are, are small starter games that nobody has heard of that are so big and ambitious, and some of them actually uh, become what they uh, you know are, are aspiring to be. A lot of them actually finish and become these marvelous games that you just want to delve hundreds of hours into. And you know what? I find those games better than some of the AAA titles these days. Matter of fact, better than most of the AAA titles these days. Purely off the fact that they're not selling me a fucking SDK unit. They're selling me the game that they truly want. And, and the reason why I said I wanted to talk about big game companies, and this really ties into it. A game company like Visceral, like this, making Hardline, or even like DICE, right, that does a lot of Battlefield. They may have these big aspirations for the game. They want to do this, this, and that. Do this, this, and that for premium. Make it this big thing. But EA goes, but wait, but whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute, wait. You want to give them what they're paying for? Are you crazy? It's not business works. And in a way, they're, I understand it. But in a way, I say, well, watch it. Right? Watch it. There's a limit. Because... You need to have find a good balance between making your profit because everyone needs to make a profit, guys. That's the thing. A lot of people are like, oh, you know, people on YouTube shouldn't make money. No, fuck you. They're going to be doing a full time. It's a job. They need money. You know, people say, oh, well, they should be making the games for free. Look at the modding community. They do it for free, too. No, there needs to be profit in it because if they get profit, then they will then they'll be inspired to make bigger and better games after that. So. You need to be realistic too. You, you, we can't go too far on either end. We need to find a good balance here. You know, it's, it's like everything almost in life. You don't want to, you know, tip the scales, you know, and, and make a bias that's completely bullshit. You need to find the center point and, and, and make sure everyone's happy. You know, please everyone, including yourself. And that's something they need to start doing. They're not doing it, guys. They're not fucking doing it. They need to because they're really starting to lose a lot of people. And to those of you that, you know, don't care about microtransactions and stuff, that's fine. But let me ask you this. Do you, you really think it's fair to pay your way to the top? I mean, maybe in single player games it doesn't matter, you know, to an extent. But do you really think it's fair for me to go and buy a fucking uh, a DLC or a microtransaction that gives me some gun that's not in the game and... It may be a little bit overpowered, but you know what? They had to do that to incentivize you to buy the gun. <clears throat> Battlefield DLC. You know, that's that's what I'm saying. Uh, Battlefield 4, I love the premium. I love when they're adding guns and stuff. But like the one thing that's annoying, and the reason I sneaked this in there is just because uh, that what they do is they, they make some of the guns a little bit overpowered, and they nerf them eventually, but they want to incentivize everyone to buy the DLC. Which I get the marketing tactic. It's smart, but it's, defi it's, it's definitely not morally correct. Um, but the big game companies here, the, the reason I mentioned them, like I said, I kind of went off track, is because what they do is they really limit the developer. They really try and make the developer money hoard themselves out, squeeze every last dime they can out of all the gamers, 
and and really just they 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 create these subpar products that they dare call and I say dare call AAA games. Come on now, uh, these games I, I can play a game that I can go buy on Steam for less than two dollars, and you know what? It might be better than the next Call of Duty game. Really, that's how passionate I am about it because it's so fucking true. It is at this point, and I don't want to just singularly rag on Call of Duty. There's games. Like Destiny, I'm really excited. Initially, like like my review, you can go check that video out. I said, look, you know, I, I was really afraid this game was gonna suck ass and I like it a lot. Now the more we're learning about it, I still love it. I still think it's gonna be a great game, but you can definitely tell that there's so many right, things they've go. done to optimize the game for money whoring. And which is okay to an extent, but there's a lot of things they did that make it stupid and now it make me not wanna play it. And and I'm one person who has that opinion. But imagine how many other people have that fucking opinion. But the problem is that we still go buy these games anyway. You know, when they announced that, yo, you know, there's not that many missions. This game, I don't know how it's going to last for 10 years, pretty much. They pretty much said that. And you go, um, wait a minute, wait a minute. What? You guys promised this big, massive, expansive world. And what it looks like is a basic Call of Duty on the rails campaign. Not to a T, guys. I'm, I'm exaggerating a little bit here, but you understand what I'm saying. It's, it's really just so fucking bad. And it's gotten to that point. It's gotten to that point where we buy shit anyway. And that's not the way it's supposed to be. So I've taken the pledge, you guys. You need to do this too. Take the pledge. Don't buy shit you don't support. <clears throat> don't do it. If you, I mean, Destiny, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it just because I like it. But you know what? If they, and they end up saying tomorrow, uh, you know, there's only gonna be a quarter of what we promised. I'm not buying the game anymore. I'm going to GameStop and canceling that limited edition pre-order. Yeah, it may be one guy. It may be $125 or whatever. Yeah, and probably champ change to them, right? But see if maybe a thousand of us did it, or. A hundred thousand of us did it. For half the fucking audience, two and a half million did it. That'd be a massive deal. They would be aiming to please us right now. They would be on their goddamn knees saying, oh shit, we fucked up. Let me make it up to you with a good blowjob since they're on their knees. No, but <laughs> let, you know, they need to, we need to boycott because if we don't, then what else are we going to do to get changed? Because you see a lot of people, great people that I really admire out there preaching and, and, and doing all this shit to try and get everyone to do things and petitioning and doing yada yada. It is not doing jack shit. And the reason why it's not doing anything is purely because there's still people are still buying it. People are still going and spending that fucking money. And you know what? Let's say they get a thousand guys not to do it. That's nobody, man. That's nobody. Destiny's beta alone had about four and a half million players. Come on now. What's a thousand people? That's what I'm saying. We, we need to all start doing it. We, are, we need to all start proving to these game manufacturers that we really are fed up and not just sit there and bitch and complain and sit on our goddamn couch and, and sit there saying, oh, I, you know, fuck this game. It's all micro transaction down and shit. No, we need to, instead of doing that, we need to be active about it. We need to start doing no, shit. And I've already started. I've started about boycotting. I, there, there's about five, six games right now that I'm not buying anymore. Why? Because fuck it. You don't deserve my hundred bucks for collector's edition. You don't even deserve my sixty dollars for the base game. Fuck you. Because you know what? This game is garbage. So yeah, that's it. That's it. That's all I have to say. Really. Start boycotting. Start doing shit. And we can really turn the tides, guys. I, I'm so passionate about gaming. I'm so passionate about the community. I want you all to not get jipped by these fuckers. I want you all to, you know, save your money. I want you all to enjoy the fucking game that you paid money for. I want you all to be able to do something. Uh, you know, I, I don't want you guys to sit there and feel like you got cheated every time you go to fucking GameStop. That's my goal. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. A little bit darker, I know, but you know what? It's true, and this video was really something that needed to be made. I'll catch you guys later. Remember to have class and get that ass. I'm out. Peace.